So in this world, there are two types of evil people. You have evil people and really evil people. Let's talk about some really evil people. So today's story is something that you've probably heard of before. I definitely heard about it uh, really recently on Reddit. It's been trending all over social media. This is a story about a girl and her goat and the police. So basically, to give you a rundown of the story, a girl was put into a program where you're basically taught how to raise farm animals. So they gave her a goat in which she was supposed to, to raise the goat and help you know make it grow and then eventually they auction off the goat and it gets slaughtered it it gets killed um and this is apparently supposed to teach kids how to provide food for their family um not my realm of of expertise so i'm not <laughs> i don't know much about this program but basically she was, she was going to raise this goat, and she raised the goat, and this nine-year-old girl got attached to it, um, kind, kind of like a pet. She, she wanted the goat to be a pet, and when the day came to execute this goat, basically, to, to execute Order 66, the girl didn't want to leave the goat. And so her parents decided to buy the goat back. And God forbid this nine-year-old girl decides, hey! I've been raising this goat for a while. I want to keep this goat as like a pet. It, it's mine now. Because the county sheriff's office decided otherwise. And so they actually sent police officers. They drove 500 miles to where she lived and used like breach tools. They, they, they pulled a Rainbow Six Siege on this girl and broke into her house. To like execute this goat. This was like a this goat was like a high profile assassin or something. This is this was a goat that clearly killed John F. Kennedy. This goat was a real menace to society. It, it, it was a it was such a high profile assassination that they had to send cops through most of California. Five hundred miles is like an eight hour drive. Uh, to to put that into perspective. And they just upped and went to kill this goat just because legally binding, technically, the goat isn't hers. Now, I don't know how morally bankrupt you have to be to drive through most of California to kill a goat and to take a goat from a, a nine-year-old girl and use breach charges and like breach tools and like battering rams to do so. Like, they, they sent the fucking SWAT team after her. Like, this is this is actually, like, crazy. But all in all, the goat was unfortunately taken and slaughtered. And since then, there has been a pretty huge lawsuit um, against the county police um, for killing this goat. Mostly arguing about, like, the, the legality of minors being able to, to leave contracts early. And the funny thing about all this, actually, <laughs> is that they probably wasted more time and gas money driving down all the way to kill this goat than the goat was probably actually worth. Because the goat was bid away for $902, and there was a 7% cut to the fair for $63. Th that doesn't even breach $1,000. And they decided to drive all that way to breach charge this girl's home <laughs> For a thousand dollars. Like that's... I don't know if that's just me, but... In the grand scheme of it, I don't think a thousand dollars is worth that much. I don't think it's worth driving... Having cops drive all the way down in like a full-blown SWAT team... With like gear and everything... Playing Escape from Tarkov... To just whack a goat... But the craziest thing about this story is the excuses that the county police made uh, in defense of, of this. Because they're actually defending it. Like, this isn't, like, one of those situations where, like, oh, you know, sorry, lapse of judgment. We, we fucked up. No, they're actually defending this. Um, in a quote here, <laughs> which is fucking wild, uh, it reads... Making an exception for you will only teach our youth that they do not have to abide by the rules. 
Which I believe is just such a fucked up statement to make. Like, ah, you stupid kid. You're not gonna abide by the rules. You wanna be a, you wanna be one that doesn't follow the rules. All right, we're gonna go send a SWAT team after you now. Your goat, your goat is not going to live. This is how we teach you a lesson. All this just for a lesson to teach kids. And the funniest uh, comment here uh, that they made it, 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 in reference to all this is um, also in this era of social media, this has been a negative experience for the fairgrounds as this has been all over Facebook and Instagram. No shit. No shit. It's all over Facebook and Instagram. You're getting negative press because you guys suck. You guys sent the cops from God knows where to drive all the way over to kill a nine-year-old girl's goat just because she didn't want the goat to be killed. And they even offered to pay for everything. Like, if that's not just straight fucking evil, there has to be some really bad evil if that's not evil. Like, I'm just, that's, that's pretty, that's such fucked up shit. But anyways, um, that's pretty much all for this story. Um... I, I saw this story on Reddit and it was it was very interesting to see that this kind of like super fucked up cruelty uh, happened just just straight up like just on the internet and the fact that they're defending it like is the the craziest part to me. Um, yeah, but I think that's all for today and uh, thank you for your time.